Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Heavy metal and dark fantasy, yet again. Last episode was, uh, in your opinion, a lot better than the first one, right? Mm -hmm. And now we're moving on to the third episode, and uh, the title of this episode, because I've seen the OVA, I sort of know what's coming, Abduction. They're moving at a fairly brisk pace with this anime, and I'm wondering what all they're like, what all they're going to cover in the time that they have. Because I know that they're splitting this in two. They have the first half of the season out now, and then the second half of the season will be out later. Again, I don't know what all they're going to cover. I know they're going to they're going to cover a lot more than the uh, OVA did because the OVA cut off uh, after a certain fight and. There was a lot more story to be told from what I from what I read online. Don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited. Anyway, um, let's see what happens uh, with Yoko and uh, Lucian and uh, Dark Schneider from here on out. Let's go. Thank goodness Lucian's back to himself again. He smells like a summer day, just like he usually does. Weird. What was that powerful aura? Oh, that was the Venom spell. Dark Schneider came back to life. There's no one stronger than Dark Schneider. It seems like he's trying to defend the kingdom. <laughs> right. It's our job to find out exactly why he's defending them. Just who do you think you are? Strangers aren't allowed here. Scatter! Hold it! Stay where you are, coward! You won't escape! Who is Tommy Blade? On the case! Ripped. Yep. The dark clouds are still spreading. They have been blocking out the sunlight for days. Anthrasax is sealed away by four seals. If the first seal is broken, the demon god will awaken from stasis and create dark clouds on the horizon. Only Kel Su is evil enough to do this! I'm sure the other three must be aiding him! Kel Su? He's an evil sorcerer and one of Dark Schneider's close friends. Some say it's even more powerful. Created by the almighty ancient magic of the old world. The heartbeat is a sign that Anthrasax's return is approaching. It seems that their lore is a bit disjointed in places. It came from the darkness and people, and then he just said that it came from the almighty ancient magics of the old world. So. Again, I, I think his interpretation of it, again, it's just like other religions' interpretations of, you know, various, you know, various types, because, you know, a lot of people see the Abrahamic religions as all the same story, just a different storyteller. You want Lucian to be Dark Schneider again? That sorcerer and Hydra were probably just troops they sent ahead as a warning. Don't even think about it. No way. We just had that big incident with him the other day. They're all so selfish. Don't they realize how embarrassing all of this is for me? My first kiss, and now I have to do it again? A maiden's kiss isn't some toy well, for them. Oh, boo-hoo. Hey, huh? Yoko? It's like, oh, boo-hoo. Uh. Don't they realize how embarrassing this is for me? It's like, uh, yeah, like, don't you realize how embarrassing it would be if y'all got fucking obliterated off the face of the planet? Yeah, yeah. Y enjoy feeling embarrassed because, guess what? That means that you're still alive! That's literally, like, you know, textbook, like, over dramatic. Like, I would rather die than be embarrassed. Like, Jesus. Well, especially in anime, that's the thing. It, it it's overblown in anime, much like how it's it's fantasy. You basically overblow the characters to make the plot more interesting. It's like, oh, they're so selfish. It's like, oh, excuse them for not wanting to fucking die. The time has come. We'll show the world we fight with honor and strength. Metallicana is in the midst of a crisis we've never experienced before, and yet I'm so shaken by something so small. I cannot believe I saw that man naked twice. <laughs> he is never clothed when he appears before us. <laughs> who, who the hell are you? Oh no, ninjas. I'm Ninja Master. Oh! oh. Damn. I said, who are you? You didn't give him a chance to answer before you destroyed his Young peanuts. Lady. I think you and I got off on the wrong foot. Tell me, where is the reincarnation of Dark Schneider? 
I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me where he is. Don't be stubborn. If you don't tell me... Don't even think about touching me, you disgusting lech. Just go back to sleep, okay? Okay. Mm. <coughs> Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. Dara, stop! Oh, oh shit. I know that voice. The hell? Yoko is my woman. He didn't come out and said Dark he's speaking Shire. through Lucian. Is it you? You've broken the seal two times. And the more you break it, the weaker it becomes. While Lucian sleeps, I'm in control. It won't be long before I'm in control all the time. Yoko, are you alright? Uh oh. Oh, crap. Damn. Great priest Gio Noto Soto. I'm taking your daughter. If you want to see her again, bring me Dark Schneider. Why didn't you grab the kid that was literally telling you he was Dark Schneider? I mean, he was right next to Yoko. Yeah, they could have done that scene better. Yeah. Look there. Can you see it? It's my ninja fortress. The only person who knows where their base is. Hey, where did Yoko go? Is she coming back soon? Except the only Do you not have ears, small child? His seal is Madame Tia. Hmm. You need a virgin maiden's kiss. That's true, isn't it? Hmm? No, no, no! I will not allow it! I won't! In the royal family, a kiss is a sign of marriage! We must stop him from getting worked up. One of you, take the old king to his bedroom. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all realize who's in charge of this kingdom, don't we? Oh, of course. I will cut you. I will cut you. In the royal family, a kiss is a sign of marriage. <sighs> yeah, time to do away with that tradition. Yes. And here we go again. I can't believe I let some woman I don't even know give me a kiss like that. I am so very confused. <laughs> Ninja Master Gara has kidnapped Tia. I beg you, save my daughter and bring her home. And while you're at it, can you defeat the four divine kings and stop them from resurrecting the demon god? Well, we'll see. see. It's a big ass. I'm not really feeling it right now. But you won! Before you told us that you loved Tia and Yoko, has that changed? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Why are you Denial. so strange? You can't really still be mad at her for scolding you, can you? Once I conquer the world, I can have my way with any woman my heart desires. <gasps> Yoko or Sheila, it doesn't really matter to me. So what will happen to Yoko then? You think I care? Oh, and I like me just the way I am. Woo! <gasps> Schlip. Oh. You are a foolish little princess. Uh oh. Damn. Damn, dude. <laughs> Just slap. What do the five fingers say to the face? Damn. I'm gonna say that episode re downgraded to the quality of the first episode. Yeah, again, some of the pacing and the spacing on the. are in like the. It, it just didn't 100% line up. And I just didn't think it was very good or interesting all the way through. Well, again, I really wish that we had like this studio. I'm not a hundred percent sure what their what their history is, but their way of animation, like some of the stuff they animate, is beautiful, but their flow with with pacing just doesn't line up a lot. And I think that that's a detriment to the overall product. And also, it, the spacing, if I wanted to truly portray the fact that, you know, he was taking Yoko and he couldn't take Lucian from the room, I would have had Geo basically, as soon as he busted into the room, you know, he would basically look at Lucian and he would basically, like, put himself between Gara. Or between Gara and Lucian. That's what... It, in order to portray, you know, Gara doing everything he can to escape, he'll just be like, well, shit, okay, I'm gonna take the girl, I'm gonna hop on my wyvern and get the hell out of here. Yeah. That's what I think should have happened. But, again, just 
one little scene. That's all it would have taken. One little scene of Geo hopping, you know, and putting his arm out in front of Lucian, I think would have solved the spatial, like, the spatial problems with that scene big time. And, again, I, I'm really hoping that, I, I wonder if this is going to be like Star Trek, you know, the odd episodes are going to be okay and, like, two, like, the even-numbered episodes are going to be good or better. I wonder, I, I wonder if that's going to be the thing. <laughs> I guess we'll see with episode four. Um, overall, though, I, I like the design of the wyvern that they went with. I thought it looked pretty cool. Yeah, the thing is, like, it, it, all they had to do to pretty much win was take Lucian, so that's why it didn't happen, because it would have ended the plot right there. Yeah. Because if they got a hold of him, it wouldn't matter if Yoko was still free or any other maiden that could kiss him because they just have him set aside somewhere and they're all too powerful for for everything Obviously else. any of the armies of the kingdoms to be able to rescue him. Well, yeah, and plus we don't know 100% how much control Literally all they'd have to do is kill him and they'd basically never have to worry about Dark Schneider and they'd just face roll the whole world well again what we saw there was Lucian lost control over his body to Dark Schneider while he was sleeping Mm. and I'm think I'm not sure if he had he didn't fully become him either no he I don't like if he was I think he would have been able to probably do something to stop him from taking Yoko yeah probably but again I I don't know I Certain things are certain things are working pretty good. Certain things aren't, and I'm hoping that they hammer out the stuff that's not working here soon. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, the whole thing is just. A little, I mean, it, it's obviously a heavy metal based thing, but uh, in my opinion, just because you're going with inspiration by metal, it doesn't have to be goofy. But the whole thing's a little bit goofy in a lot of places. Cert, in certain and like cases. a lot of people are going to be like, what's heavy metal? What do you expect? And I'm kind of like, well, being an, a big fan of metal and stuff, I don't look at it from like whatever outside perspective you're coming at it from where I well, think it's fucking goofy because it's really not. Well, I look at certain things in heavy metal, especially around this time. I look at Eddie, the mascot for Iron Maiden, who's badass, but at the same time, kind of goofy. And... Also, you look at some of the album covers, like uh, Wasp. You know their uh, their one album with the saw blade. Well, just because some of it's goofy doesn't mean all of it. No, so. and and from what everyone has been saying about this, the story gets a lot darker the more it goes on. It starts out goofy to lure you in and make you feel like it's going to be one way, but then it gets darker the more we progress. And if that's the case, if that's what they do, awesome. But again, I don't know. I really don't. But oh, I see Vega over there. He just popped out from under the bed. He's looking around. He's like, "What's what's going on?" <laughs> All right, but that was a bastard episode three abduction. Uh, Yoko has been taken by Ninja Master Gara, who uh, <laughs> again I'm upset is not voiced by Steve Bloom. But anyway. Uh, Hopefully you all uh, enjoyed, and uh, we will see you all in the next one. So until then, I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace.